guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful day. I am wearing the same stuff. I'm bulk filming. It has been a while and I keep forgetting what videos are meant to be filming and uploading on what days. So we're bulk filming because it's getting a bit out of hand. Um, but it has been a hot minute since I came back and actually told you how I'm doing with my Project 10 pan. So I was meant to be doing bi-monthly updates, but here we are in March with my first update of how it's going. So my plan with Project 10 Pan, I've written it all down here, so I actually know what I'm doing. Um, but it was supposed to start on the 1st of January and it ends on the 31st of December. And the plan is, it is a rolling Project Pan. So I have my Project Pan or 10 Pan core products. So, I sound out of breath, I ran up the stairs and now I'm tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have my 10 core products and each time I finish one, I can roll in a new piece of makeup. However, I cannot purchase any new makeup until all of my 10 core items have gone. How is that going, you may ask? Well, not great, I have no empties. Um, I did purchase a couple of pieces of makeup um, with birthday money that I received and I feel like that's okay because I didn't use my own money to purchase them and I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the original rules I set out um, but I think I bought myself a palette and a couple of lipsticks and that was it. If you would like to see those, let me know and I will do like a birthday haul or something. Um, but yes, anyway. So, I have my 10 products. I have no empties and it has been three months since I started. However, I have been trying to use these products on a daily basis in order to try and use them up. I did pick products that I knew I would use on a daily basis. Um, or majority of products that I knew I would use on a daily basis in order to try and use them up basically. So we're going to start with number one. It is the number seven tinted moisturiser in light, um, or fair rather. I love this stuff. It is my go-to product of choice. I don't like wearing a full foundation anymore. I tend to wear this that just makes me feel a little bit glowy and gives me a little bit of coverage. If I know I have a, a blemish, I will cover that up with concealer and then I will just kind of buff this in over the top. Um, but yeah, that is that. Now, I can't remember where I was when we started, but I have literally this much left. This product lasts forever. It's a 24 month product once opened, and I can guarantee I've had this for about three years. This is probably the third year of owning it. Um, and it's just fabulous. I do intend to use up every ounce of the product I can. So when I get to a point where I can't squeeze any more out, I will cut it open and then use the product that's inside. But I love this product. I have a backup ready for when this one is finished that I bought before the year started because with this product, you cannot have any backups or I cannot purchase backups in case I finish a product. So before, I started my project pan, I had a little look at what I'd got and I knew that I had enough stuff to keep me going once this stuff runs out, hopefully. Um, so it does mean that if I don't finish any of these 10 products and I run out of mascara, I will have to go without mascara. Um, hopefully that won't happen because I have a lot of like backup stash that I obviously haven't got rid of um, and intend to use, so fingers crossed. You get the gist, you get the gist. Um, but yes, we are down to here. Um, there is still so much product in here, but I am loving using it. Next up, if you've been here a while, you know. This is the Avon Glow Bronzing Powder in Light Bronze. I have made the dip slightly bigger. Uh, I'm using this on a daily basis, and this just does not seem to go anywhere. There is just so much product in here. I do have another one of these as a backup that my mum bought me um, in October time because it came back into the Avon books. But this is my perfect bronzer. I don't know if you can see that I'm wearing it. Um, but this is my perfect bronzer. I love it. I will always love it. 
um, I just need this one to be gone. Like it's been here so long now that it needs to go. Um, this is also a 24 month product, but it had a period of time where it went to the back of the cupboard when I didn't really wear makeup or I had loads of other like makeup that I'd got in beauty boxes and I forgot about it, but it's back. It lives here now and it won't leave. Um, but yes, I do need to get this one finished up. Next up is the Lord and Berry Strobing Pencil. I do need to sharpen this, but we have a lot of product. It just doesn't go anywhere. Like, I just don't know what to say about it. The goal was to get it down to the bottom of the tape, um, which is here. I just don't know if it's gonna happen, but I do need to sharpen it because it is blunt at the moment. Um, but I do forget to use this. This goes in my makeup bag and it hits the bottom of the makeup bag and it is gone. Um, so I do really need to remember to keep pulling this one out. First Aid Beauty. This is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturiser. I love this stuff. I think it's fabulous. It has like a little bit of a, a skin tone going on there. And I really love it. I love the smell. I love the way it makes my skin feel. The difference when I don't use it, um, like say I don't use a primer because I'm in a rush, this doesn't sit on my face as lovely as it does when I haven't got this on. This is beautiful on its own, but this enhances its beautifulness. So together, they make a fabulous pair. Now I do have quite a few of these that I bought um, off of Depop, I think, when they came out in all the beauty boxes and I don't know where I can actually purchase this from um, but if someone could let me know because once I have used up all my minis and this project is over I intend to make this a staple in my collection um, but we have I mean there's quite a bit of air in there um, but I would say we're about down to here so we're, we're like halfway um, but yes it is a lovely lovely primer fabulous amazing if you've got one in your cupboard or your drawer Get it out and just use it and if you don't love it i'll eat my hat that i'm not wearing um but if you don't love it i will be very very surprised and if you don't send it my way i am happy to take donations um because it is lovely and i love using it so there is that next up now this product hmm i hate it this is the model co moonshine highlighter we have no progress on this whatsoever. I have tried, I have maybe made some progress, but I just don't like using it. It's a nightmare. Um, and I plan on keeping it here because it is part of the Project 10 Pan, but if I don't figure out a way to use this and to love it so that I continue to use it, we will not be purchasing anything all year, which is fine because I want to have this kind of contribute to my no buy, this project to contribute to my no buy. But this product, I hate it. I can't figure out a way to use it in a way that I love. So yes, if you have any tips, tricks, etc., help a girl out. I've been trying to use a little bit like on my eyes and it's really sheer. It's really sheer and it is really pretty, but it just rubs off and then you're just covered in glitter which really irritates me because if I do put it on my eyes about halfway into the day at work I just have like a line of glitter in my crease there's nothing else here and if I do eye makeup which I am trying to do more often when I go to work at the moment I kind of want it to stay on my eyes all day rather than having this weird line of greasy glitter that appears so yes help me out if you have any tips tricks etc uh, next up my favourite is so dirty now. This is the Velvet Matte um, Mushroom Lip Pencil from Primark. I don't believe they do these anymore. And obviously with what's going on at the moment, I don't have a Primark open to check. But this is where we are up to. My goal is to obviously get to like this part of the pencil where this bit begins because there is nothing in that bit at the end um and I think we might we might finish this fairly soon I love it it is my favorite it doesn't stay on all day 
but it's Primark, so what do you expect? But I just love the colour. I do have a MAC Really Me, which is the other one I've put in this project pan, that is similar to this. Um, but this one is just super creamy and lovely, and I love it. I do have two as a backup over there. Um, but yes, we have made some decent progress on this since my last update with you guys. Right, next up is the MAC Really Me lipstick. Now, I have completely forgotten that this was in my project pan and we still have this amount left. I am trying, there just doesn't seem to be an awful lot happening with it. I kind of put it back on the stand where all my lipsticks sit and completely forgot it was in this project. So I hadn't really used it at all, which is why there's so much progress on the Primark one. So I do need to remember to put this back in my makeup bag um, so that we can actually get some movement on it. But I think I could do this by the end of the year, potentially. There's that much left. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. Um, but yeah, so I am hoping to finish that one by the end of the year. We'll see. Next up is the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. This is never ending. I use this every day. It is too light for me and I remember when I bought it a few people commented on my video saying that boots will allow you to exchange um, if you haven't got quite the right shade. Um, but if I'm honest I was too lazy to go back to a boots and exchange it so I am just trying to use it up. Um, I honestly don't know how much of a dent I've made on this. I have absolutely no idea. But I am using it daily, like under here, and as a um, base for my eyeshadow. But it just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. I feel like this is another one that could be here till the end of the year. And there's nothing I can do about it because I'm trying so hard. Uh, next up is the Poundland Eyeliner. I do need to sharpen this one um, because we are down... Like, it looks like there's some at the end, but that's like the end of the pencil like if that makes sense I don't know if you're gonna be able to see what I mean um, like it needs sharpening because I can't get to it without scratching my eye with the other part of the pencil but my goal with this one was to try and get it down to the tape again I think it's doable I only have this eyeliner in my makeup bag at the moment I do have a couple more open which makes me feel sad but I feel like pencil products will last a lot longer than we think they do and I'm not overly worried about dates. Don't come for me. <laughs> but I've had most of these products a really long time and they're past their sell by date and they still work fine. I imagine they would work a lot better for me had they been within their use by, but I just don't use makeup enough to actually use it by the time it needs to be used by. It's just not how it works here. Um, but yeah, so I do need to sharpen this, but there is some decent progress here. I am hoping to finish this by the end of the year, but I'm not sure how realistic that is also. And then lastly, we have this. This is the number seven translucent powder. Um, I can't tell you how much is in here. Maybe we, if we tip it on, hang on. If we tip it on the side, we can probably see what we've got going on. I don't know, where are you? Hang on. If I turn it this way, it's clearer. So we are, I'm trying not to get the light reflecting on it, but we are here. Um, so we have used up this much, um, but I have had this a long time again. I've had this about three years. What's the use by on it? I don't know if it has one. I mean, I feel like it probably does, but I can't currently see it. Um, but yes, I am struggling with this one a little bit as we're getting into the sort of sunnier weather. I want more of a dewy look, um, whereas this one kind of mats you out a little bit. So yeah, on the days I'm not wanting to be dewy, I will use this to kind of mat me out and make me look, what is going on with this hair? Um, to make me look a little bit less shiny, but I am struggling to use as much of it as I think I need to. I went back and had a look at my intro video for this and the lovely Mercedes um, she did comment saying I think you've chosen some really hard products and at the time I kind of was like nah it's gonna be fine like I can use this stuff in a year and now three months in I'm kind of like 
Yeah, I did. She's right. I chose some really hard products. So, yes, I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we are going to continue. The products I think I will finish by this time, well, by the end of the year, are 100% these four. So we have the Primark lipstick, the MAC lipstick, the primer and the foundation or tinted moisturiser. Those four, I'm pretty much 100% that we will finish. Um, this one, I reckon we'll still have some left. I reckon this one will continue for another year. This one, I have absolutely no idea. This concealer just will live on, I imagine. So fingers crossed for this one, pray for me. Um, these two, I hope to get down to the tape. Um, I am gonna sharpen them both after I film this video and then hopefully we will have some decent dentage on that. This one, help me. Help me, help me, help me because I have absolutely no idea what to do with it. And this one I think is gonna be the bane of my life. I just don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to end. Um, but yes, that is my Project 10 Pan update. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks for any of these products because I would love to hear them. Um, but yeah, that's everything for me. Wish me luck. If you are also doing a Project 10 Pan or something similar, let me know how you're getting on. Um, but for now, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.